Hello everyone, this is Pal Ponder on Weather. In this update, we're gonna be talking about snow with our clipper system, then a big warm up coming for this week, and then a major storm brewing for the December 4th through the 6th timeframe. So if you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button and notification bell to get all my daily updates to keep you ahead of the storm. Good morning, everyone. This is Sunday. <laughs> November 28th, man, this, this year is just flying by. I got Christmas put up yesterday, so all that is done. And now let's talk about the weather, because we got a lot to talk about. We had some pretty heavy snow, and this is a, a welcome sight to see for parts of the Northeast. Some of these areas picked up your first snowfall, but some areas picked up a lot of snow with this clipper system already. Uh, you can see some of these impressive snow totals just over the last two days. And places like Vermont, you're looking at 10 inches here, multiple areas of 10 inches, and then the bullseye uh, in Saranac, uh, New York, 25 <laughs> inches. I mean, you can see that red bullseye right here. But yeah, we had some heavy snow in uh, northern Ohio last night with one to two inch snowfall rates. We got that snow in Ann Arbor, Michigan yesterday, which ended up at about four inches with that uh, snow that's, uh, that fell during the Michigan game. That was pretty awesome to see. But yeah, I mean, you can see the, the graph here and uh, down here in uh, Vermont, New Hampshire, a lot of these totals add up to eight to 12 and 12 to 18 inches in the, some of the higher elevations. And we've got more snow to add to these totals uh, in, the, in the next several days. So let's take a look at the snow this morning for uh, your, your radar look for this morning. We're still getting feeder bands. Some, sometimes the winds blow northwest and, uh, and also west and that comes off the lake that picks up some of those warmer waters off the lake, dumps it inland, but now we're seeing some some of that snow, snow showers into Syracuse where they're checking in at 30 degrees uh, this morning. So you can see sporadic snow showers and that is actually just gonna continue really over the next uh, couple days. You can see the culprit, here's the jet stream. So this is the big picture for this afternoon and really the next couple of days. I mean, we've got this red area, that's the paint bomb of atmospheric river and moisture that's pummeling uh, British Columbia. That traverses to the north and goes through Northern Canada. And then once it gets down to like Minnesota, the jet stream dips a little bit, that pulls in some of the colder air, the winds, and then pulls up some of the moisture from that atmospheric river, dumps it inland over uh, Minnesota, Wisconsin, going into you know parts of Michigan here where they've seen the snow. And so these, these little clipper systems are gonna come across and then you can see at times the winds flow northwest, but at some times they flow west. And so that's gonna be able to pick up some of that lake enhanced uh, induced snowfall. So this is the main you know areas are they're gonna be getting the snow over the next couple of days up in the upper Midwest, as well as uh, Northern parts of the Northeast and Northern New England. And then you got that southern branch as well. We had some heavier rains in uh, Dallas yesterday. I actually picked up a little over a half an inch. Kind of a slow soaker for them. And they end, they're they actually going to end up above average for November. That system traverses across up, up here into the southeast today. So let's take a look at the uh, overall map for everybody else. Uh, we can see the atmospheric river up here in the Pacific Northwest, the jet stream buckles, and then once it hits Minnesota, it dives to the dives down here to the southeast. And, and with it, it's going to bring some sporadic snow showers with it into parts of Minnesota, getting into Wisconsin, going into Michigan here, you know, upper PA, upper New York, where I showed you the snow in Santa, Syracuse this morning, and, and then Vermont, New Hampshire, you got that southern branch, all the rain in Texas yesterday has now shifted off into Louisiana, southern parts of Mississippi and Alabama, going into Georgia today, with the midsection of the country where they desperately need rain, snow, anything really in Denver, they're just not getting it. And I think you remain dry for at least probably another week as you're kind of in between systems right now. So here's the setup for Monday. So nothing really changes. Jet streams well to the north. It buckles down once it gets down to Minnesota. And then some of this will be snow at times, going to be kind of a rain snow mix at times. You can see it's clearing out for much of the country. That system's going to be pushing offshore. Uh, off into the ocean here where these H's are that's high pressure that's high and dry and some of the warmer conditions are going to start filtering in once that winds turn around from the south 
So the, where the H is, that's high and dry. Nothing's really happening. So the jet stream's well to the north. And then as we move into Tuesday, kind of the same deal. This That clipper system finally kind of winds down uh, after leaving some heavier snow. So you're talking, you know, it's already been snowing for two days in some of these areas. So you have another two more days to add to the mix, if not three, as it kind of winds down on Tuesday to end November as the rest of the country is pretty much going to be kind of high and dry uh, with a big warm-up that's going to be taking place for a good chunk of the week. But here's some of your snowfall totals with that clipper system just over the next couple of days. So this is adding to those totals what you've already seen so far. So you're going to be adding another probably two to four inches, if not almost six inches at times, into uh, Wisconsin, getting into upper portions, central and upper portions of Michigan, uh, northern, uh, you know, around the lakes, around Cleveland, uh, get, getting into northern PA, northern uh, upstate New York, getting into parts of Canada. So good, you know, another two to six inch swath is definitely uh, not out of the question for this area. Here's your, here's your latest uh, NAM, more of a short range model, kind of depicts the same thing of a good two to six inch more, you know, snow for these areas with sporadic snow showers at times. But yeah, as we go through pretty much your work week, we're going to be seeing a, a pretty big warm up. We've been talking about this warm up, but I really feel it's only going to last probably for four or five days. I mean, we're as you saw those H's there, that's your as the winds turn around, the, the higher anomalies are going to move movement in. It's not actually, you know, hot or warm. And we were talking, you know, 70, 75. So in a normal spring day, that would be almost considered a beautiful day. But as you get towards winter, obviously that's well above average, right? So, but as you see these more of extreme higher anomalies, there's cold air not too far away because it's not going to stay like this forever. So it's only going to be, you know, warmer conditions for, for about four to five day time frame. As we're waiting for our next storm system, here's Friday, December 3rd, okay? So we're going to set the stage for you for our big storm system that's going to be coming up for the 4th, 5th, and the 6th. So what's happening to the north? We've been talking about this, all this Arctic air that's been bundled up in Alaska, and it's still going to stay there. So this is the this is the picture uh, from uh, December the 4th. So it still has another week, all right? Well, everybody's been talking about this Arctic air. It's coming. It's a process, right? I mean, sometimes when you talk about stuff so far in advanced, it just hasn't hit the time frame yet. So as we hit December 4th, we've got all those below average anomalies, colder air, good chunk of 40 below, below average air. That's dangerously cold in Alaska. But we got to get the ridge building in Alaska. And we're finally going to see the slow transition of this ridge starting to take over Alaska, where they finally going to be releasing some of that cold Arctic air from the north. So as this ridge takes over, you can actually see on the extended view what we're kind of looking at. So here's your here's your warm up that's going to happen for much of the week, right? And so then we've got our little system that's going to be coming in for uh, the, the upper Midwest, the Northeast, and, and parts of the Mid-Atlantic. And you can actually see the flow. So this is the cold source. And we've got troughs to be coming in underneath. And we'll show you how all this is going to play out. But eventually, as this ridge will start to dominate over Alaska, that's going to be a slow process. And then once these systems pull through the 4th, 5th, and 6th, then the idea is is to much colder air filters in on the back side from those systems so let's take a look at the vorticity and how this uh the storm system is going to be coming out for next weekend and how all this is going to play out you can see the flow coming in from the northwest getting in from alaska so that's our cold source we've got a trough that's going to be digging in by the fourth the jet streams buckling well to the north i showed you the wind showed you the jet stream you can see these isobars really starting to tighten up so that's the pressure gradients and that's going to bring some heavier snows at time in northern parts of minnesota wisconsin getting to northern uh, michigan northern upstate new york vermont new hampshire and we got our south side feature. We have a developing trough that's going to be digging in from the south. So you're going to be dry for pretty much all week long for a good chunk of the south. But by the time we get into next Saturday, this upcoming weekend, about six days from now, when I'm doing this video, we've got that trough system coming in from, from the west. That'll traverse bringing more rains back into Texas, uh, where you're going to be dry for the next uh, six days. So... 
as you look at the surface map underneath that yeah you're going to have some snow showers you can see the jet stream well to the north this is the december 4th time frame that southern jet bringing some some more rains back into texas back into oklahoma back into arkansas back into louisiana the jet streams to the north with our with our snowstorm that's going to be slowly trying to get its act together with some some light to moderate snow at times getting back in the picture for parts of the upper midwest and the north northeast so as we move into that sunday time frame so next sunday december the 5th we've again we got that that northwest flow coming in we've got troughs digging in from the north we got that southern branch Digging more, some heavier rains moving back. Again, more rain moving back into Texas with, as eventually these two troughs will actually kind of merge together and then end up in the Northeast with our big uh, snowstorm. So as we move into that Sunday time frame, you can see the heavier snows as the, as the jet stream starts to buckle a little bit, pulling down some of that colder air from Alaska, 1035 Arctic high pressure. We've got snow starting to fly in the Dakotas, uh, Northern uh, Minnesota and to Wisconsin. As we got our Southern branch into Texas with rains into Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas and Missouri. Uh, unfortunately for the Southwest and really much of Denver, you're going to be a kind of in between systems more or less. But as this pulls through and as you go to next Monday, so your storm track is pr primarily from the fourth, fifth and sixth time frame with rain on the South side and then snow on the North side for the upper Midwest and parts of the upper, you know, mid Atlantic States and the upper uh, Northern parts of New England. So as you take a look at Monday, as those systems just kind of merge together, so there's your some of your heavier snows are going to be starting to fly between you know up portions of Minnesota, Michigan, um, Wisconsin here and the Michigan uh, upper again you know, parts of upper o Ohio upper. Uh, Pennsylvania will start to see some heavier snows and then much heavier snows as you go into Canada uh, into Quebec and into, into Toronto area Montreal areas with some heavier snows again filtering into back into Vermont and New Hampshire going into Maine and then the idea is that fourth fifth and sixth time frame then you can actually see the pattern change slowly starting to creep in with so that much colder air going to be filtering on the back side. This is December 6th. So we're not going to go into too much detail beyond that. But the idea is uh, once these systems merge through, then much colder air will filter in on, on the back side and have our change in pattern and our flow overall for December. So let's take a look at the rain between now and Friday, right? With all that high pressure as the warmer conditions we had that rain in texas yesterday moving into louisiana it's gonna be dry right so between now and february uh, you know december the december the third the main source is going to be well to the north atmospheric river well to the north traversing across i showed you the jet stream it buckles down so there's pretty much all this is pr primarily going to be more or less snow into this region where all this area is going to be dry but if you start adding into the fourth, fifth, and sixth time frame, now it looks to be a much different picture for the South as the rains come back into Texas for Saturday, Sunday, going into possibly Monday. That goes into Arkansas, that goes into Louisiana, that goes into Mississippi here, that goes into you know Tennessee, Kentucky, going into parts of Alabama. There's our snowstorm. So combined with our clipper system and our snowstorm for the fourth, sixth, and time frame, a lot of this area is going to be in the form of snow where you see a good chunk of the midsection of the country is just kind of waiting for this pattern change on the western area to filter in more, more rains for this area. But this is beyond the sixth time frame, right? So we're waiting for our kind of a blocking in Alaska to start taking shape. And then once that starts to take shape, that'll filter in that much colder air and have our pattern change for uh, December. So let's take a look at the snow between now and then for the next, really, uh, with our clipper system combined with the fourth, fifth, sixth snow event. Yeah, we could be looking at a good chunk of a good swath of an area of a, a good 
you know, foot of snow that's going to be falling in probably parts of Minnesota, northern Wisconsin, northern central and northern uh, Michigan here, northern PA, upstate New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, going into Maine, and pretty much uh, Canada is going to get pummeled with these combined systems over the next, uh, you know, seven to ten days uh, with these uh, big snow events. So I appreciate you guys uh, watching. Do like this video definitely leave your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to catch the latest update where i protect you before and after the storm